Excuse me. I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll be there. No problem, Mr. Singh. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks. I told you your daddy was still here. Oh, my gosh, Chipper. Did you come to see me, buddy? Do oh. you have any idea how much I've missed you, pal? Oh, we had a really big day today. We went to the park, and we were watching all those windsurfers, weren't we, Nico? Oh, I knew you'd love the windsurfers. You're going to probably be out there in a couple of years. <laughs> if I let him, he'd be there right now. I really appreciate you looking after him, Mama. Oh, I love it. You know that. He's been doing okay? Oh, he's fine. He just didn't quite understand why we weren't going to be seeing Eden today. Uh, oh. He talks about her a lot, you know. I see. Well, you know, buddy, I understand that because I miss her, too. The thing is, she needed to take a vacation. So she went away to this really beautiful country. Where we spent a lot of time. It's a special place. It's called France. And someday we'll take you there and you'll be able to understand what it is that's so nice about it. But right now, just remember that just because she's gone doesn't mean she doesn't love us because she does a lot what is all of this oh i've just been catching up on some of my reading dreams and perceptions i never realized they'd written so many books on the subject uh nor did i until i went to the bookstore well why the sudden interest in all of this it's kind of difficult to explain my mom but i really do need to explore it right now oh Eden goes off to France, and you stay here. So you can read dreams and perceptions? Is there anything wrong between you two? No. Then why did you stay home? You need to get away just as much as she does. Well, maybe I do, but not right now. Why not? What can you possibly accomplish by staying here in Santa Barbara? having a hell of a time making sense at all. I understand. I do understand. It's strange it's so warm, isn't it? I mean, the way I feel, I feel like I should be looking out over a barren plain covered with ice and snow. Certainly not blue skies and flowering trees. Chuck around the tree over there. Planet of Heaven Eden was born. Ours are still beautiful. All kinds of storms and dry years. Still holding up. Real strong. Hi. Hi. Hello, Cruz. Mrs. C, I just, um, I just spoke with Eden in Paris. She and Kelly are fine. They both send their love. I still Hi. don't understand how you can let her stay there all by herself. Well, Mrs. C, I wish I could explain it to you, but I, I, I can't, unfortunately. Cruz, don't you understand that a woman needs you there? Uh, maybe, maybe you should tell us why you wanted to talk to us. I'm sorry. Not a problem. What's up? I'm sorry. I can't. I, I want to come up with something in memory of Adriana. Uh, some idea that would, that would, that would mean something. I mean, it's difficult. There's a lot of possibilities. I, and I came up with one thing. I thought maybe I'd add a wing onto the pediatric ward of the Children's Hospital Medical Center. What do you think about that? Huh? Well, I think it's uh, very generous. What? Well, I'm just wondering if it might not be too soon to do something like that. Um, I... I think Cruz is right. It's very sweet of you to think about something like that, but they haven't had time to get used to the fact that Adrian isn't here. Yeah, it's such a, a, a big undertaking, something like that, Mr. C, and I, I certainly think Eden should be in on the decision. Hey. Maybe we could talk about it again uh, after she gets back from Paris. No problem. No problem. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. No, I know. I'm not, uh, I appreciate that. You're just trying to deal with, uh, with the loss. I think that's what everyone's doing right now. Chris, what is that? That's a beautiful stone. Um, thank you, Sophia. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is kind of special, isn't it? Is it a birthstone? I think maybe it is. Look, I'm sorry um, if this was unpleasant. I, 
I do appreciate the thought, and I do, you'll excuse me. I gotta, I gotta do something. Am I catching you at a bad time? No, not at all. How's Eden? She's all right. I just got off the phone with her in Paris, actually. Oh, good. You going to see her soon? I don't know. Chris, I'm sorry. I shouldn't pry. Uh, oh. What can I do for you? It's okay. I, uh, I tell you, I've been reading everything I can get my hands on about psychic phenomena, but I don't think I'm understanding what's there to be understood. Oh, I'm certainly not an expert. Are you, what, are you talking about ESPs? I'm looking for a clue as to how you could distinguish between a dream and a vision. What, you, do you mean like a prophetic vision? Yes. Um, maybe if you could be a little more specific, I could... Well, I have been having dreams about Adriana, but not just when I'm sleeping. Chris, after everything that you and Eden have been to, I don't think it's unusual at all that you should have dreams. In fact, I think it's a healthy form of release for you. Well, that may well be, but it's more than that. These, these dreams are remarkably vivid and compelling, and I, I just can't write them off, Heather. Well, have you found any helpful information in the things that you've been reading? Well, that's just it. Every time I think I'm on to something, I get lost in the terminology. I need to talk to someone who understands this stuff, but it can explain it to me in lay terms. I just don't know who that someone is. Well, I'm sorry to say that it's not me. My training is strictly in dealing with an, an emotional framework. Yeah, but there must be doctors who are legitimately trained in this, right? I don't want to go to some crackpot and, you know, waste my time. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, that's what most people think about these psychics that are out there, because most of them are frauds. But I have a friend who's doing some investigatory work right now. His name is Dr. Uh, Sean Morrissey. He's working over at the university. Well, you know, if, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to get in touch with this guy right away. Absolutely. Let me, let me get right on it. Thank you. I appreciate you seeing me on such a short notice, Dr. Morrissey. Not at all. Heather gave me a little background on what it is you want to discuss. And, of course, I've read quite a bit about what you and your wife have gone through. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. That's okay. Um, Heather seems to think that the dreams I've been having are simply a reaction to having lost my daughter, but I can't help feeling there's more to them than that. You may be right. There's a great many people who have these types of experiences, um, visions, if you like. They can occur while you're sleeping or awake, and they usually relate to someone who's very close to you, someone that you've experienced a severe trauma with. Uh -huh, and people who have these kind of experiences would be considered psychic? Not always. Well, how do you tell the difference between those who are and those who aren't? We have a set of standard tests that we run to evaluate psychic ability. Um, Heather tells me that you've done some reading. Maybe you already know a little something about these tests? Well, I know they exist, but I don't know how they work. Well, I've been doing a study project on psychic phenomena myself. And if you like, I can run you through my tests. I'm not promising any answers. No, I'm anxious to get to the bottom of this, so that would be wonderful. All right. We'll start with the oldest game in the book. Now... I'm going to hold up a card. I want you to concentrate and tell me what it is. Wait a second. Don't make it difficult. Just say the first thing that pops into your head. Oh, okay. Okay. The Queen of Hearts. The Seven of Diamonds. The Nine of Clubs. The Jack of Spades. The Deuce of Spades. How did I do? That's just the beginning of a battery of tests. Would you be able to uh, stay in the lab overnight? Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd have to make a couple of phone calls, but sure. Good, because I'd like to hook you up and monitor your dream patterns with an EEG. Oh, that's the, uh, the brainwave deal, right? Right. Now, after we run that in a few more tests, you and I can sit down tomorrow and discuss the results. And then maybe you can tell me whether these dreams I've been having uh, mean more, I mean, mean, mean something, they're trying to tell me something? What I'll be able to do is to determine whether you have any legitimate psychic ability. Uh, whatever your dreams may mean beyond that, that's something that we'll have to continue to explore. Now, these will help us record your sleep patterns tonight. I'm going to have somebody outside monitoring the machine all night long. It will be recording through all four phases of sleep. What are those phases? Well, first, there's a period of restfulness when you're on the verge of dropping into a deep sleep. 
And that's the second stage. And then you go through a period where you have your most vivid dreams. And then you go through that period where you're just about to wake up. So you'll actually be able to monitor my dreams? Yeah, during dreaming, your body reacts the same as it reacts when you're awake, just more subtly. If you're frightened in a dream, we're going to get a recording of increased heartbeat. Uh -huh. And you'll be able to tell the difference between normal activity and the kind of vivid experiences I've been describing to you? Well, it depends. Um, there are some dreams that don't register on any of our monitoring equipment. Uh, that's what we term psychic phenomena. But if they don't register, then how can you tell if I've had one? Because tomorrow morning you're going to tell me everything you dreamed in detail, and I'll compare that with the chart, the graph, and the machine. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to remember this one. Well, I better mm -hmm. plant the thought then. Uh, yeah. I usually can do that. I, the, the thing that concerns me, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fall asleep. Uh, you will. Well, I hope, but it seems kind of strange with these things stuck into my head like this. Yeah, I know, but you'll get used to it. And this room may not look very restful, but believe it or not, it's really conducive to dropping right off to sleep. And if you need help, count sheep. Or else take slow, deep breaths. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay. Good night, Cruz. Pleasant dreams. Thanks, Doc.